Hi everyone. Uh, so the second journal in the Alice in Wonderland series is done. This is the the Queen of Hearts, and uh, she is finished. And I'll take you through it. On the front, there is uh, this is again the Stamperia paper within it, and I've got some uh, vintage lace here from George Ann Miller in Damsels in Lace. I made this pin myself. This is uh, could be used. It's a, you know meant to be like a hat pin, or in her case, it's it's her uh, her heart that she. What do you call it? You know, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, I'm tired. Um, and, but I also did leave a space under here. This is open. If somebody wanted to put a card there and take that off and put it somewhere else, they could easily do that. Um, this is a, a, a digital kit I bought and it came out really, really nice. I'm quite happy with it. And then more of George Ann Miller's uh, laces there. And this is all beautiful red velvet that I got from uh, Sheila at Boho Daydreams. And then the, the chip is in my heart from uh, um, Tim Holtz. And then I put the corner protectors on it and they have little hearts in them. I wanted to use those for this one and then this little guy here. And then at the back, we have little roses and hearts hanging out and a little bit of lace here. And on the side, again, some charms and some cards falling out. And these are also from uh, Sheila at Boho Daydreams. The, uh, the really pretty dangles that she makes. Are we all nice and good? We're all in. Um, so inside we have we have this paper that I printed up, and there's a, a first card that I made for it, and Alice's Adventure Wonderland. Now this kit did not come with like pre-made cards or anything, um, so all of these I had to make, so it took a little bit longer. And all this is fussy cut out and then put on there, and then I used a lot of the papers that she has with the kit. Um, in the back here, it's also red velvet with um, some little chips in there, gold chips in there. And I had embossed a crown in gold a few in a few places. So and I used some different like Valentine's paper because I thought <clears throat> that will definitely have the hearts on it. And the roses and, and I made pockets again on this one with to have the, uh, to be able to have the, the, uh, the, uh, cards falling out again and then this is from that kit the queen of hearts and i printed these a lot smaller than what they normally come i think between 65 and 70 percent just so that they would fit in there nicely again we have some um, book page from the uh from the book of alice in wonderland and this one is the queen of hearts she made some tarts all on a summer day and so i i I deliberately looked through to get the ones that references the queen or the um, anything to do with that those scenes. And then the, again, there's the coloring book paper, and there's the queen. Now the card I made. Now some of these I, yeah, again, because I, I stuffed mine, they were getting kind of bulky. So the last few tags I made, I sewed them on like the ribbons on like that because it takes up less space. And this is some of the paper from the kit. And then this really pretty, that's avocado uh, dyed uh, a doily there. I like this one. It's nice and thick, so you can do a lot bit more with it. And then there's some trims from Sheila there. And this is uh, also from uh, the digital kit. A lot of these, I printed them on the 24 by 24 cardstock I had. And this was on the other side, so it went quite well with it. And some more cards. And then these, I also blew these up a little bigger so that they would make nice little, cute little cards, journal cards in there. And then some more avocado dyed paper. And then in the center, we, in this one, we have the heart, uh, the rose, and a little playing card there. And then there's the little rabbit. And then this is some of the, uh, again, some of the uh, cards from the 
Vampiria collection. I want to take two on these. Oops. And the coloring book paper and the doily. And another journal card. And then these are <clears throat> my porch prints. They're just little cards that she had. And then there's a real little miniature playing card of the Queen of Hearts. So, And this one has, uh, that is the a card from the Stamperia collection. And then in here is an extra large Queen of Hearts card. And then we have a little kind of booklet here with a little heart-shaped booklet. A little card. And there's the velvet. And then this is the bookmark I made to go with it. And some gold trim down here. Velvet trim. I'm pretty sure I got that from Sheila too. And then a, a pocket. I have not put anything in there. Um, with this, again, I will be sending a lot of extra papers I had left over and stuff. Pieces that people can make their own cards and whatnot to go in it. I'll flip out there, another pocket, and there's another card I made. And then there's and then some more stamp period paper in there. And then this again from the plane, the card plane of uh, the vintage paper I have for that. Another card, another Crown, embossed gold crown that could be used as a tuck spot there. And one of my butterflies. And this one I put here's a little gold heart, and then there's a red heart right there. And a bead. Another card journal card again so on so it's nice and flat and then that's more of the book page and I'll be sending more book page along and, and put the card inside in there another one of Sheila's dangles coloring book page it's printed out so pretty I was really really happy with how the printing that came out on this and then this is also part of uh, that kit, that digital kit, was the, oops, got a little fuzzy King of Hearts. And here's the, the sheet from the music with the, the Wonderland music in there. And then I put this, this is uh, Barbara, I get, I get this from her, and uh, I'll put a link to her Etsy, and, and this just looks so pretty, I wanted to put that in there. And, Made a card. Oh, somebody's opening up my leg. Ooh, and the cats. Um, so, and here is another center with this one's a rose and a card. And then there's a rose charm there. And there's another little um, teacup that could be used as a card, journaling card, and some other smaller cards. This this printed out so pretty and it feels very velvety. I think I printed that on matte photo paper by accident and that's why it feels so velvety. And another pocket. And the music. And here we have another one of these. The card inside. This one's fairly simple so it can be decorated by the person who buys the journal. And then a nice red heart again from that kit. And this is what I mean, it takes it gets a little thicker when you when you have to when you tie them on like that. And there's another card I made. Tag. Another tag. I backed them with some paper that looked very gold so to go along with the theme. And then there's these three small journal cards in there, the teacups on them. 
And there's another dangle from Sheila. And this beautiful lace um, that I got from my friend Francis. More gold trim here. Another tuck spot here. And then there's another card in there, red roses. a lot of the little bits of paper that were left over and just put them along the side. It does make it so that the pages are a little tougher on the ends too, a little stronger. More journaling cards. And this is a nice little velvet, red velvet heart. And then some more Sheila trim there. It's so pretty. Another card, journal card, top spot, and another heart and card. And this is also from Sheila, this beautiful trim. And then this is more Stamperia. And then card I made. And then also from uh, my friend Francis is this lovely washi tape with the flamingos on it. And then a heart paper clip. Here's the rabbit and another journal card and a Stamperia card and the crown in there. And coloring book page, another journal tag and journal card. And there's the back with another uh, gold embossed crown on there. And then there's a little butterfly charm on that one. And that's it for the Queen of Hearts. Uh, she'll be going up within the next couple of days on my Etsy. And uh, if you're interested, please contact me here if you like. Um, just make a comment and I'll get back to you. And um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how she turned out. I think she looks very regal. Um, and, uh, so the next one is the Mad Hatter. That one's going to be a lot of fun. I've got some interesting things to put in that one. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. Take care.